Hello everybody, Attack the Average Gaming here once again, no doubt, and I'm bringing you something awesome, I'm bringing you an awesome new game, something different, something new, a domination, so, a, a, a domination for you all, and that's good, and it's it's really good. Actually, to believe it or not, I this video was chosen to be put up on my channel for a reason. It's not a perfect match, I don't play perfectly all the time. Matter of fact, you'd be shocked that most of your favorite YouTubers who do do, do blops and codfish and threes aren't perfect players. Uh, matter of fact, like, you know, I, I play really bad maybe every once in a while. I don't know when, though. I do sometimes. But this match, I put it up because I wanted you guys to know that I'm not a perfect player. I don't always get my, my third kill streak. I don't always get my my stealth top. I don't always get that cool. I don't always make the smart moves. Now, in this match in particular, I, I do get lucky a couple times. And I do actually make a couple dumb mistakes. That being one of them. Silly Jackie Average Gamer, what are you doing? You're just, you're just a silly little guy. But, you know, I just, I think there's some sort of misconception going on with YouTubers who play COD games. Because I think people kind of under the impression that all these YouTubers, all these gamers who play the blobs are perfect. That they have, like, perfect games all the time and that they're unbeatable gods. And I just think that's such a terrible misconception. Mis... Misconception. Misincep... Oh... Inception. <laughs> but anyways, like, I just don't understand why people always have this mentality. Like, I get most people who play Call of Duty online, or at least on YouTube, you know, or post their stuff on YouTube, are pretty good at the game, or they wouldn't be posting it, unless they're really bad and they like having their stuff shown and bad. Uh, but, you know, I, I just I just don't understand why. But this video was dedicated from me to y'all's faces, showing you all that I am not the perfect guy that I never said I was. Got it? Good. Now you understand. My true motto in Tel Arabian Nights, which is a mockery of Goolsby, Miss Goolsby was my first grade teacher, and she always ate a waffle in class. No, she actually did not. I lied, Miss Goolsby. If you watch my videos, you probably don't, though, because it's been like... 18 years since you've seen me. I hope that you're eating well. But there's a couple times in this video, though, that I, I do, in fact, <clears throat> get some lucky kills. Uh, there are a couple times that I actually play well. Uh, but this video was okay. I recorded it about 4 in the morning, so I was a little bit, um... I wasn't tired, per se, but I wasn't on my best foot. I was sitting down, so I wasn't on my best foot at all. Because I couldn't, because I was sitting down. But, you know, feet come in four colors. Green, yellow, orange, and meringue, which is something you put on pies. And I lose a terrible gunfight right there, and every time I die, I think to myself, Wow, I wish I was a monkey wrench. Wow. But actually, you know, I, speaking of monkey wrenches, alright, so the, my kill streaks <clears throat> have been normally always Harrier or the Stealth Chopper uh, Lightning Strike in a UAV. However, they did a patch on Lightning Strikes making the time delayed uh, before I did this video. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm just terrible at doing Lightning Strikes or I'm just terrible in general at video games, which I don't think it's the latter, but I just for some reason am having a really tough time getting my Lightning Strikes to hit anything. I may go back to using a Sentry Gun. I don't know, but you'll have to see next time on Dragon Cod 4 to the Z powered. You gotta see it then. But this match, you know, it's really interesting. I, I did not see that guy initially when I was playing to the top left. I, I guess I had some sort of uh, brain issue. My mind was like, yo, run past him, he's unimportant. Uh, I make a lot of funny mistakes, but Domination in particular, since this is the mode we're doing, Domination and World Domination is a really fun. Uh, it's just a really fun mode to play. I've always liked Domination, and I know it's one of the most popular uh, game modes to play because it's, I guess, because it's easy to get points and kill streaks. I don't know. I've always enjoyed it for the strategic aspect. Same reason why I love Demolition. Matter of fact, I had a Demolition video to show up for you guys, but then somehow, like, some sort of demon spawn ate it. I think it was Billy Numa, and I don't know if you guys know who that is. Uh, it's some sort of demon. Uh, you'll have to meet him one day. But I had some demolition, but it went away. But domination is fun. <clears throat> In this particular match, you know, we were rocking hard. You know, we were, we were, we were doing good. Like right now, as you can see, we're like 110 to 51. That's freaking, that's legitimate. It's not like, oh my god, great, because we've already lost two flags. But you know, it's good. We're, we're doing, we're doing good. Like you know, if I had to say, you know, if we were doing good or not, I would say we're doing pretty, pretty well. 
And so at this point, we hit the half ray, halfway point. And that's another cool feature about Black Ops 2 that I really like. Uh, they add, like, m midway points. Like, you get to wait. Like, you know, and switch sides and stuff. I just think it's really cool. Uh, they didn't have to do that because you know, the formula worked fine before. But I kind of like it. It just makes it a little bit more interesting to switch sides anyways. Matter of fact, I don't even remember Modern Warfare 3 had that. I'm pretty sure it didn't, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'd like to see you try, you piece of trash. Trying to insult me. I'll beat the shit out of you. But, um, you know, honestly, I, I get ridiculed a lot for my uh, domination playing that I don't collect enough flags. And the thing is, is that it really depends on my loadout. Um, and this one in particular, I'm running my MPC, my MP7 silence with a um, the little laser sight. And I normally will not go after flags if I run this setup. Uh, my main goal when I'm playing domination with this loadout is that I want to get behind my opponents and I want to... I want to stop them from capturing flags. I want them to stop from getting them the mid, the mid flag like B. In this case, I want to go to C. Uh, but we have some troubles with this in this match. Uh, I never want to get all three flags. And in the beginning of the match, my team did that, and I was like, no, I don't want, I don't want all three flags. Because when you get all three flags, you have some issues with spawn, and I can't ever predict the spawns. Because one of the most important aspects of any Call of Duty game is predict predicting spawns. And if I can't do that, my mom can't eat all my waffles and pancakes. And every bacon comes in four different colors. String, trong, and shrimp. But, so the first half of the game, you know, you saw that we were, we were doing pretty good. And the second half of this game, we make a slow descent down to hell. Uh, everything goes wrong. I, 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 every, I die a lot. And uh, my teammates, we can't all stick together to get a flag. You know, we all try to go our separate ways. And for, domina for domination, you know, that can work sometimes, but it doesn't always work. you got to be careful. You can't always get them right. And, like, here, I'm trying to shoot long range with an MP MP7, like, silence. I'm like, bleh, 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 bleh. and then I'm like, oh, no, Brunecker, got to shoot this guy. And then I die. So, you know, e every kiss begins with K. I just want you all to know that. Like, never think about your favorite color when you're trying to kill a person. What you should be thinking about is how red becomes the best number of the alphabet. <laughs> but, you know, I think a lot of people, when they play Domination, their main goal, at least before, was just to get a bunch of kills and not get, you know, the objectives. And I just, I get it, because I play that way too sometimes, but I don't know, it just irks me sometimes when my teammates don't make any effort to attempt to get my flags, uh, but like I said, depending on my loadout, a lot of times if I run like a, um, a light machine gun, um, I will often play objectively because I can hold points very well. Uh, I don't think there, yeah, there's not a video of me on here with my LMGs yet, but I, I think I'll get one sometime soon for your face because you know your face is so pretty and with so manly, unless your girl is so feminine and cheeky, like a like a cheek on a on your face yeah that's how I feel about you but see there you go see look I got I got a people say I don't get a jack you don't even know me when I'm drinking all the bourbon water which is just water I just call it bourbon water but you know I I, I agree I, I agree that I may play this map a little or I'll play in general this mode a little incorrectly. And I keep on forgetting there's people here. Like, this, there's this guy right here. I, I didn't see him. I was like, holy crap, I didn't see him. And then there's another one. I didn't even see him until he got shot. So I was like, oh. So I, I leave A to him, and then I see this guy, and I'm like, ah! And I kill him. So it was good. It was good. It was good. And then I'm like, oh, man, this guy must have got something good. Oh, man, UAV. Good. It's, it's not. It's not good. But in terms of other... Of other loadouts for objective gameplay, you know, for demolition, you know, MP7 is all the way from me. I just, you know, another lucky break for me right here. But you know, it just really depends on the game mode. I, 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 I really have a loadout for every type of game: team deathmatch, uh, do domination, demolition, kill confirmed. I really, well, really, my team deathmatch is very similar to my kill confirmed. But I try to make sure I have a a way to combat any situation, and I, I think the best players will have that aspect about them that they will always have a different loadout for every occasion, and I think it works. Uh, using the same gun all the time, it don't as always. There's a person behind me here, and I did not even see him, which is which is really funny. Uh, like this, at four o'clock in the morning, guys. You know, there's there's gonna be some stuff going on in my head. I'm gonna be thinking about like, you know, pink lemonade. 
I'm gonna be thinking about Belgian waffles. I'm gonna be thinking. Well, hell, I'm still thinking about Belgian waffles. <laughs> but you know, everything happens for a reason. Every kiss. I said this already. But you know, here is probably the best moment I had this entire game. I actually get a triple kill. Um, I don't know if I got any other triple kills. I got like a double, but it's probably the best I played the most of the game. And it was really disappointing that this wasn't my best game. But I once again I want to reiterate that I want you all to know that you don't always play perfect games. Even like when you play. And you may you may play really well consistently all well like I almost always go positive but we still end up losing regardless 36 and 11 not great but I still was able to go positive I had a good time and I think people really need to play COD for that reason I think people need to play because it's fun not to worry about their KD ratio not to get like a hundred kills and one death I don't think that's the point of Call of Duty I think the point of Call of Duty is to have some competitive fun with your friends or just some random people. Have a good time. Do the objectives if you want. Even though I think you should. Even though I should do it more too. But overall, it was a good match regardless. Everyone did really well. And I thank you all for watching. And, you know, if you liked it, you should probably like me. Because, you know, I still like coffee. Anyways, thanks guys. Adios.